Necessity is the mother of invention. So my necessity, I was having a problem on my uh, chest rig finding these, these poles uh, for the, the spear couplers. And you know it's soft, it's kind of a, some sort of a paracord that fold, fold, folds under and you can't find it. So the solution was so simple and it worked so good is to use uh, shrink, shrink tape, shrink tubing, right? So to, to do this, you're gonna need some shrink tubing. You don't need to untie your poles. Now this could be like on a ski coat, duffel bags, it just makes life so much easier. If you wanna really make them easy, you can cut, take the, these off and make them long um, and just get some paracord and do the same thing. But if you have the existing ones that you want here, it's quite simple, just get some shrink tubing uh, that you can fit over hello. top of the knot. Well, hello, my love. Are you hello. coming to help? I, I have something for you to do. It's a bow. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Of course you can help me. You want to help me with the video? Well, I didn't know we were going to do this with the sweet loaf, but I guess we are. All right, can you help me cut? So the first thing we're going to do is we'll take our shrink tape and make sure it fits over the knot, which we did, and we're going to cut it to length. Now we want to make this as close, as tight as possible. So I'm going to put that right there. Can you cut this for me? Of course. Okay, squeeze the red handle. All right, so we have some very tiny helping hands here. I'm going to mark this about right there. Can you help me cut? Squeeze. Good. Now we'll put this over here. Let's try that one. That knot seems a little bit big. Take a screwdriver, whatever you have, push that through there like that. Okay, now we're ready to melt it. Shall we melt it? I will have my own one. Yeah, you can have those. And you could, for this, you can use a heat gun, works best, uh, lighter, torch, whatever. Heat tape, if you don't know what this is, it's uh, for electrical work and it will, it's just kind of a plastic of some sort that when you heat it, it shrinks up. When I'm using a heat gun though, can I see that for a minute? I wanna make sure that I don't put heat towards the item. You don't always kinda of angle it. I can't see that. I have that one minute. One minute? Yeah. Okay, I'm almost, I'm almost done. You can do the next one. Cause these heat guns will melt your, your kit. That's about all there is to it. How's that? Should we do another one? I want to do another one. Okay, well let's measure this first. Well, why don't you open it and see? Should we do it now? I think they probably got the idea on the zipper poles. We'll do the other ones by ourselves. So this in my IFAC here, IFAC is a personal first aid kit. I have uh, four things. This is an Israeli bandage, which is a compress compression dressing. I have a combat gauze, uh, which is a blood stopper, a decompression needle and a small pair of trauma shears. And this is the best little uh, holder. I got this from T-Rex Arms and it really nicely kind of just, it's all their stuff is USA made, very great, good quality, best components. Papa, and it holds Papa, everything together with this Papa, little tab on it. Yeah, my love. Can I have you with the knot? Yeah, you can have this one. It's green. All right, let's talk, tell everyone about where we're at with our hats. I'm having this feeling that you and I are gonna be doing a lot of projects in the shop together. You seem to like it. Papa, yeah. can we tell everyone that we got a knot? That we got a what? We got a knot. Okay. Yeah, well, you can tell everyone. You just did, I think. Everyone, we got, I got a green knot, so, yeah. I got a nod, so Papa's helping me in the shop doing work. We are helping a dog this, and I put it all up here, and then a monster came along, and he in, in the shop, and he excited. May I interrupt you? Yeah, there you, are, you there, can tell everyone that the monster came. There, well, first off, 
there are no monsters. And if there were, what would Papa do to that monster? I don't know. He would shoot it. He would shoot it some dance wax. Is what he would do. Okay, on the hats. So most of you, by most of you. Everyone, uh, <laughs> you need to learn to drop the blue and green. And hey, may, may may I talk? No. You, you little magpie. No. May I may I talk? No. It's my turn to talk. It's actually not. Let me talk first, and then it'll be your turn. On the hats, really quickly. So, oh man, I have had a hard time finding USA made hats. A lot of you recommended I talk to uh, Bunker Design uh, down there in Texas, and I just got off the phone with them. They are gonna try to source a berry compliant USA hat similar to the, to the Geisley hat uh, and get back to me. So what we're gonna hopefully do is we're gonna have that landing page where you can get the hat, we'll have it stitched, the logo stitched in there, and then we're gonna do a custom patch every month and once they're gone they're gone we'll run them for like maybe a week 10 days something like that and each month on the first this is my plan anyway we'll have a new embroidery patch that you can put on there on the front similar to what we have here now what i'd like to do because there are so many creative folks in the comment section um i would like if someone could tell me a good way that we could have you guys who are artists want to submit drawings here's the canvas is a two by three if you, listen, if you don't be quiet, you won't be able to stay in the shop. Where they could submit a two by three patch and we're, gonna, we're not gonna do vinyl, we'll do the embroidered ones like this and the guys down at Bunker can have those made for us as well. So I'm trying to source everything USA made, even the fabric if possible. Um, and that remains to be seen. So that's what we're gonna do. So what I'd like to do is if we could have some way that folks could submit designs um, for the monthly patches, and we could do like a Loctite or um, I wanna do a professional homeowner, that sort of thing that fits on that two by three. If your design is picked, of course, you will get a free hat and a free patch. You know, we'll do something like that. So um, it's all in the works, nothing definite yet, but I am in contact with the folks at Bunker and um, I think we're gonna be able to work something out, right? Would you like to have a hat? Hey, did you know that shirt that you're wearing was your mother's when she was two, like you? Everyone, this is a scent that I got in blue one, Dad, in the shop. So the butterflies are flying around. So the chocolate. Let's say that. Let's do the closing. May God bless you and your families. Keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Good.